Good morning, hot dogs. Deco sat in more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In DECA Backpack Buddy News, every Wednesday we will highlight the DECA member who created the week's Buddy Bag Menu, as well as give a shout out to the community class or organization who fills this week's Buddy Bags. Frankfurt DECA's Community Service Project provides weekend Buddy Bags to Frankfurt K-12 students. Thank you to first year DECA member Landon Ramirez Crawford for creating the week six menu. A shout out to Mrs. Schaefer's community class for filling week six buddy bags. 107 buddy bags will be sent home this weekend. There is a sad meeting today, right after school in Ms. Kramer's room, room 155. Students, Friday is the end of the quarter. If you need help with your work, you should consider attending TAG after school. Lastly, Crash is having a fundraiser on October 28th from 5 to 8 p.m. at 61 West Washington Street. There will be plenty of fun activities, so go out and have some fun. Now, let's send it to sports and weather. Good morning, dogs. For today's weather, it's a very cold this morning. The high and low for today is 76 degrees and, the, and 38 degrees out. It will be mostly sunny, then it becoming partly cloudy. That's it for weather. Now back to Garrett. What's up, dogs? The Lady Dog Volleyball team fell to a tough conference row team playing a strong first set and getting some court under the feet, but fell short. Getting swept 3-0 last night, we would like to thank seniors Erica Stevenson, Macy Sterrett, and Emma Pillion for a strong four years of hot dog volleyball. The Lady Dogs will be back in action tomorrow night to take on the Danville Warriors at Danville starting at 7.30 p.m. And tonight, the boys' soccer team will travel to West Lafayette to take on the Red Devils in a sectional match. And remember, dogs, if you plan on attending, the theme will be fall fever. So be sure to come out and support them. And be sure to sit in the student section. Last night, the Lady Hot Dog soccer team traveled to Danville in a sectional match against conference opponent North Montgomery. The Lady Hot Dogs didn't waste any time opening up scoring with Natalie Cruz receiving a pass from Judith Sarabia on the left side of the field, taking a strong shot to get past the Chargers goalie, giving the dogs a 1-0 lead just three minutes into the game. It took some time for the Lady Dogs to get their second goal, but they controlled most of the action for the next 20 minutes of the game. The Dogs' second goal came from Natalie Cruz, who crossed the ball into the net from the center of the penalty area after it bounced off a few players, and Celeste Rodriguez managed to smash it in the back of the net. The halftime score was 2-0 in favor of the Hot Dogs. The Lady Dogs didn't give up in the second half, still pressing the advantage with the Lady Dogs getting the th third goal of the night after Natalie Cruz buried the 25-yard Free kick to the offense, scoring with Amy Marquez breaking down the Chargers defense for the fourth goal of the game. Michelle Martinez finished off scoring with the Hot Dogs. Next up for the Hot Dogs will be Tri-West on Thursday at 5.30 at Danville. With girls basketball quickly approaching, Nelson found time to meet up with the new coach, Mr. Crawford. We're excited how he's going to get these girls in shape for the upcoming season. Hey, hot dogs. With the girls' basketball season on the come up, we invited Coach Crawford to get his thoughts on this upcoming season. So, Coach Crawford, how are you doing this morning? We, we're doing great. Uh, had a great start with our uh, off season workouts, and we start practice in under uh, two weeks. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, for the first question, I wanted to ask you how long have you been coaching? So, this is my uh, 16th year overall, um, fifth year as a, as a girls' head coach. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, uh, what, what schools have you coached at? So, uh, on the girls' side, I've coached at Clinton Central. I uh, was there for three years, and last year I was at Delphi. Um, have spent a lot of time coaching against uh, the Frankfurt girls, and I can't tell you how much or how excited I am to coach this group of girls. That's awesome. So, what exactly drew you to Frankfurt? Well, um, I went to Southside until I was in third grade. I uh, can remember exactly where I sat for blue chips. Um, I spent a lot of time in Case Arena, either seeing games or, you know, coaching against Frankfurt. And uh, when the opportunity came to possibly coach and teach at Frankfurt, um, it was it was a no-brainer. Yeah, I couldn't get here quick enough. Yeah. 
Case Arena seems to draw a lot of people here. <laughs> so uh, what are you expecting from this upcoming season? Do you have any goals set in mind? Do you have any goals for the girls? What do you, what do you think? So basically our two goals, we want to win a state championship every day. Um, when practice starts and when practice finishes, we want to be 1% better. And we'll tell the girls that when we win a state championship, we're at our best every day. And um, the, girls, the girls will get kind of tired of hearing about it, but we like to base our season on, we call them the P's and E's, playing with poise, passion, and purpose. And then every day we're going to play with energy, effort, and enthusiasm. And that's, and that's all we're going to ask. We play hard, we're energetic, we're enthusiastic about what we're doing. And we want, we want girls to be uh, positive with one another um, and just continue to get better every single day. We're going to play hard, we're going to get after people, and we're going to have fun doing it. That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. So uh, what's the schedule looking like? So, I mean, the, uh, the Sagamore Conference, we've, I've, I've coached against... Um, a lot of them already, um, conference wise, they've got, you know, it presents different challenges and, you know, you got different teams run man to man. You got some teams that run a zone. Um, so we'll have a lot of opportunity to grow and get better about what other teams are going to do against us. But when it all comes down to it, they're going to have to be ready to handle the ball because we're going to pressure people. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're going to have to be in shape because we're going to run. And so, um, what really excited me about coming to Frankfurt is we got girls that are athletic, we got girls that love to play hard, and we got girls that are into it. And I mean, I'm getting chills just sitting here, here talking about it because of how excited we are. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. So, hot dogs, here to hear first. When uh, when was the first game again, Coach? So November second, we play we play Carol. Carol. Yep. Make sure you guys come out and watch the girls play Carol. I'm excited to see what Coach Crawford has prepared for us. This is Nelson from HDTV. Thanks, Nelson. Remember, all girls basketball players, there will be a mandatory meeting tomorrow in the upper portion of Case Arena. This meeting is mandatory if you plan on playing this year. Thanks, Garrick. Next Wednesday, October 12th, all sophomores and some juniors will be taking the PSAT slash NMSQT exam. All information about testing location and proctors will be released very soon. You will be able to find out this information from any adult by this Thursday. Please make sure to get good sleep on Tuesday night, eat a healthy breakfast, and arrive to school on time on testing day. You will report directly to your testing location, not community, next Wednesday. More information to come. The FHS Theater Department presents The Hamlin Mystery. The play is tomorrow and goes through Saturday. It begins at 7 p.m. The tickets are only $5 at the door. This announcement is for any staff, student, or graduating senior. The last day to have your picture taken for the yearbook is October 13th. Interstate Studios will be in Collaboration Room 2 from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. A happy birthday goes out to Alexis Addy, Anthony Gonzalez, and Caden Lauer. For lunch today, lines 1 and 2, top and go Dorito taco in a bag, lines 3, salad bar and slash potato soup, and line 4, fajita chicken bar slash goldfish grime. That's it for today's announcements. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. And have a wonderful Wednesday.